Welcome to Homespun Geek. You will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Star Wars. Can you say enough about Star Wars? It is absolutely epic. It is absolutely amazing. We started with films, then television shows, then comic books, then books, then backpacks, t-shirts, hats, Star Wars. George Lucas, you made something amazing, absolutely wonderful, that we have loved for generations. I have four GameStop exclusive Star Wars pops that we just picked up in the last week and a GameStop exclusive Star Wars pop and tea combo that I'm going to go ahead and open and we'll have a first look at all of these awesome things guys so with that said thanks for coming over let's check these pops out here we go now in this house we are giant fans of Star Wars absolutely giant fans of Star Wars I have a lot of Star Wars not just pops, but collectibles, memorabilia. I have this amazing snow globe right here with the Millennium Falcon in the little globe. And there is the, yeah, how awesome is that? That was actually a Father's Day gift for maybe three or four years ago, uh, something like that. Absolutely awesome. That was a Father's Day gift from Daniel, my son. Uh, I'm a big Star Wars fan. I'm a big, big, big Star Wars fan. If a Star Wars movie comes out in theaters, we go see it in theaters. It's one of the only movies that I'm still willing to go to the theaters to see. Uh, Star Wars and Marvel, and maybe if there's something else that comes out that's epic, I will go see it in theaters. But otherwise, I wait until I can just get it digitally, and we watch it at the house. Um, so, yeah, GameStop recently had four new Star Wars pops that came out that were exclusive to GameStop. You had to go to GameStop to get them. I am going to show them off. I'm going to open them with this trusty butter knife. Not a lightsaber, but a lightsaber probably goes straight through a uh, Funko Pop. So, I'm glad that I'm using a butter knife. But, yeah, let's look at them. Let's talk about them. So, first things first, guys. The first one that I absolutely had to have because my very first ever pop was Yoda. Very first ever pop that I ever had in my collection of over 1,600 pops was the very first generation Yoda. Recently, just this last week, Stackin' Pops, who's a great channel, and I will link in the description below if you'd like to go check out Stackin' Pops, let me know that PPG did actually start to differentiate between the differences in boxes. And my $17 Yoda that I've had for 10 years suddenly went to $120-ish, something like that. So um, that's absolutely amazing and remarkable. That was the very first pop I ever got for Christmas from my mom, who to this day does not know what Funko Pops are. Um, but though, yeah, so the GameStop one, guys, they have is this hooded Yoda. This is a really, really cool pop. I'm a big Yoda fan. I would have to say Yoda probably is my favorite character. And that may be why I'm not as big a fan of the child. I don't know. I'm not a really giant fan of the child. But I also am not a big fan of like cutesy things added to shows sometimes to get that like cute factor, or cute, cute value in shows. I don't really feel the necessity for those. I much prefer action and adventure and things like that. Uh, I am going to take all these out, like I said. There is the hooded Yoda using the force with his left hand and his lightsaber. His green lightsaber is in his right hand. Absolutely awesome. This is a great pop. I'm glad to add this to my collection. I try to collect every Yoda that I can get. Uh, but yeah, that's a great one. So GameStop exclusive Yoda, hooded Yoda. How cool is that, guys? Awesome. I also like to talk about the backdrops of these uh, new pops that have been coming out. Is a very like space themed black and white backdrop. I think that looks really, really good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below about the backdrops that they've been adding to the pops. There was a long time when pops didn't get anything as far as the backdrops, but they are starting to really, really make some impressive artistic stylings in the back of these pops. All right, so yeah, the Hooded Yoda is actually an awesome figure. Somebody that you guys are all probably familiar with if you are familiar with Star Wars. The next one, guys, is the Shadow Stormtrooper, which has an amazing color to it. Uh, the black and blue looks so good. Shadow Stormtrooper. So I know a lot of people don't know 
you know, specifics on the different stormtroopers. But this stormtrooper specifically is like a personal bodyguard or personal agent for Imperial intelligence. Uh, like they're basically the Empire's uh, CIA. They were the professional personal bodyguard for the intelligence uh, agency as far as the Empire goes. That is what this pop represents. So there is the Shadow Stormtrooper. I will also try to put all of these on the spinner at the end, guys, so you have a chance to check them out uh, all the way around. Now, the coolest thing about the Shadow Stormtrooper is everything on it is essentially translucent. Um, you know, it may not pick up well on camera, but it's very, very clear. Uh, you can see, maybe you can see my hand through his helmet here, but everything is translucent on him except for the blue locations that are actually painted. Really awesome pop. That one is super, super cool. Um, yeah, I like that a lot. So tell me what you think, guys, again, in the comments below. Shadow Stormtrooper, awesome Shadow Stormtrooper, guys. Just so you know, the backdrop on the rest of these are all the exact same as what I showed you with Hooded Yoda. They're all like the space theme, um, black and white-ish space theme. Uh, all right, let's move on to some more mostly like obscure characters. Now, you guys all know who Yoda is. You all know who, what the Stormtroopers are and what they represent. These next two characters, guys, are actually, they were introduced in a video game on I believe Xbox like the very first Xbox it is called Knights of the Old Republic it is a great great game great game uh, where it's just a completely different story than anything you're used to uh, from the Star Wars movies or Star Wars books or anything like that this is actually takes place many many years before they introduce you to Star Wars in the movies so we'll start with the villain of the Knights of the Old Republic the villain is Darth Malak one of the most powerful Sith Lords in the history of the Sith, Darth Malak. Very, very, this character is super cool, man. Uh, you don't see a lot of him necessarily in Knights of the Old Republic until towards the end, but absolutely awesome, absolutely amazing. Um, that's the bat, guys. That's the whole set there. So Darth Malik is the villain of Knights of the Old Republic. It is definitely a game worth playing if they ever have an opportunity to like remake it for a newer console. I would suggest everybody take the chance to go play that game. Even if you're not a big Star Wars fan, the game is actually really, really cool. And so there is Darth Malik, guys. There he is, red lightsaber, of course, because he is a Sith. He's got his hand out like he's using the Force again. He's got like a half cape that goes over one shoulder there. Uh, really, really cool. I like the silver, like, metal gauntlet on the lower half of his face. That's an awesome pop. These are long-awaited pops. From Star Wars fans have really been hoping that these would come out at some point. Uh, and there you go. Darth Mallet, guys. How awesome is that? Uh, of course, everything Star Wars is a bobble because that's the Disney license. Uh, in order to make these, they had to be bobbles. But, yeah, that's acceptable because, you know, otherwise we wouldn't have gotten them, you know? Very cool, guys. Well, tell me what you think about Darth Malak. I think he's awesome. All right. And this is going to be a little bit of a spoiler because this is actually the protagonist of Knights of the Old Republic, but you don't really know that. That's who you are until towards the end of, I believe, the first game. Uh, this is Darth Revan. Now, you're going to say Darth. Darth means villain, right? Because anybody Darth must be a Sith. Uh, he was indeed a Sith Lord. He was actually kind of part a partner of Darth Malak. Uh, but something happened, and I won't go into details because I would really like... I think it would be cool if you guys go play these games, and you'll really enjoy them. Uh, and so during these games, you actually play as Darth Revan, and they don't reveal that towards kind of the end. But it is an actually really, really cool twist. Darth Revan, guys. Let's go ahead and take him out. There you go, Darth Revan, dual lightsabers. He has the purple and he has the red. He has his hood up. Very cool. Whew, that is absolutely smooth. I love the cape on the back. The cape looks really good. But there you go, guys. There you go, that's focusing. The cape, look at the blending of the cape to the black to the like brownish color. Nice paint job on that. I really like that paint job a lot. There is the helmet the front red lightsaber purple lightsaber 
that's absolutely awesome. Like I said, I'm not going to go into serious details on this game, but uh, because, you know, maybe you guys might want to play this game. But, yeah, you should definitely check it out. I think it's a really, really good game. It seems older. I replayed it through it recently, and it it is it doesn't really hold up as well as it used to. But um, the story is great. The gameplay is pretty great. It's just like kind of the graphics feel older to me now. Uh, but then again, it, the, the game is like probably 10 to 15 years old. So uh, there you go, guys. There you go. Darth Revan. So those are the four recent Star Wars Funko Pops that they just came out with at GameStop. All four of those are exclusive to GameStop. I cannot tell you how easy they may or may not be to find if you go to a GameStop. Unfortunately, mine is sold out of all of them. Um, but in the future, guys, if you pay attention to GameStop's website, uh, or if you go into your GameStop, you can ask them to print a list of upcoming Funko Pops. You can actually pre-order Pops at your store for $5 down and then just pay the rest when they come in. That is what I highly suggest everyone do. If there's an exclusive coming out that you really want from GameStop, make sure you go in and pre-order it because sometimes they drop and poof, they are just gone, guys. Um, Revan and Malak have been long sought after for a long time. The Shadow Stormtrooper looks so good that I think a lot of people really wanted it. And who doesn't love Yoda? Yoda. Yoda's great. Uh, just a fantastic character. So the last thing that I have to open here, guys, is the Mandalorian No Stripes shirt and pop combo. Uh, now, we do have one of these. Uh, actually, I believe Daniel has it. But I don't have this one, and I really wanted it. I don't know where my little box cutter is, though. All right, so I couldn't find my box cutter, but I found this little pocket knife here. Let's go ahead and cut this thing open. All right, I've actually honestly had this for a little while. I just haven't opened it because everybody that watches me knows that I take forever to open things. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. We'll look at the shirt first, and then we will look at the pop that is inside. All right, there is the shirt, guys. It is a group of Mandalorians. Uh, looks like the, I believe the infantry Mandalorian is on here, but maybe not. Uh, yeah, just four different Mandalorians. It says Star Wars right here. Very cool shirt. I'll definitely be wearing this in future videos because I, you know, I absolutely wanted to have this shirt. It is in a 3X, which is my size, which, you know, fortunately GameStop goes to 3X. Um, awesome, awesome shirt, guys. Tell me what you think, guys. What do you think about the shirt? All right, here is the pop. This is the Death Watch Mandalorian, no stripes, right there. That's what this one is. Death Watch Mandalorian. If you have not watched The Mandalorian, you are making a mistake. That is a fantastic show. Even if you're not really that much of a Star Wars fan, if you were going to watch one thing Star Wars this year, my suggestion would be to watch The Mandalorian. The Mandalorian is a fantastic television show on Disney+. Plus. Uh, it is where the child is from, which I'm sure everybody's familiar with the child by now. But there is the Mandalorian pop, the No Stripes Death Watch Mandalorian pop. Freaking cool. Really, really cool. I like these pops a lot. They've been doing a really good job with all the Mandalorian pops, guys. Awesome. Awesome. So that's really it, guys. That is the last one I wanted to show you in this video, kind of a Star Wars themed video. Uh, I definitely wanted to get those new GameStop ones out and show you guys because they are really, really cool. Ooh, that Mandalorian was hard to get back into the blister there, guys. And this is the backer for the Mandalorian, which is the Mandalorian symbol. Absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. So there is the Star Wars haul, guys. All five of these pops, brand new. All five were GameStop exclusives and, of course, the shirt. Tell me which one of those was your favorite in the comments below. i like to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, I have to say probably Hooded Yoda is still my favorite because I'm a giant Yoda fan. I love Yoda. He was always my favorite character, voiced by Frank Oz from The Muppet Company. Uh, great, great character. Uh, tell me what you think, though, guys. Do you guys like Star Wars? Have you watched The Mandalorian? Do you think it's good? Have you ever played Knights of the Old Republic? And what do you think about that? Uh, that's really all I have for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed this look at the Star Wars GameStop exclusive wave that just came out, guys. That's all I've got for you today. As always, I am Tylock. This is Homespun Geek, and I hope you... Have a great day.